Scottsdale, you're thinking of moving to Old Town Scottsdale, but before you want to move, you definitely want to know all the good, the bad, the pros and the cons before you decide to actually make that move and live there. Well, in this video, that is exactly what we're going to be covering, the pros and cons of living in Scottsdale, Arizona. There are some amazing parts of living in Old Town. I've lived here for a while and I absolutely love it, but there are definitely drawbacks. And this is not one of those videos where we like package up the cons and like a cute little like ribbon and bow and spin it and make them like secretly pros. No, there are some cons and they are real and we are going to be open and honest about them. I hate sugarcoating, so we're going to jump into it. We have a lot to cover, so let's do this. Your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in phoenix arizona and moving here and the surrounding areas like old town scottsdale then go ahead and subscribe and click that bell for notifications so you can be notified anytime things happen in the phoenix market and you can know exactly what is going on i am samantha and my team and i help people just like you make their move here every single day and we absolutely love it and so if you are thinking of making a move to old town scottsdale or any other area around phoenix we would love for you to reach out connect with us ask us questions we are here and happy to help so just shoot us a call give us a text send us an email uh, whenever you want we would love to help whether you're moving in nine days or nine months just let us know and we'll help you make a smooth move to phoenix arizona like i said we are going to be checking out old town scottsdale and going over the pros and the cons and there are definitely a lot of both so we're going to head back to my office and really dive into this together so let's do it okay so like i said in the beginning we're just going to be breaking down all the pros and cons of old town scottsdale now if you've heard of old town scottsdale uh, or if you haven't <laughs> Old Town Scottsdale is uh, one of the kind of hot spots of Scottsdale. Scottsdale is actually 40 miles long. It's actually a really big city, kind of goes for a while. And there's North Scottsdale, Central Scottsdale, and then South Scottsdale, which is Old Town. It's called Old Town or South Scottsdale. Most people call it Old Town Scottsdale. Um, it's got some really cool history to it and it has definitely kind of just reinvented itself in the last 10, 20 years and is one of the main tourist attractions and hot spots in that Scottsdale area. So we're just gonna go through, tell you all about it, the pros and cons. Uh, I lived there for a while and I absolutely loved it. Warning, I am a little biased. I, I loved Old Town Scottsdale, but just because I loved it didn't mean there were things that didn't suck about it. There absolutely were. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We're gonna be real and honest. There are parts about living there that really sucked and sometimes I don't miss it. So let's go ahead and jump in and start going through this list. All right, number one is that it is just a gorgeous place to live. This is true of all of Scottsdale, but it is really a high-end luxury lifestyle living in Scottsdale and kind of all the cool bells, whistles, and amenities that come with it, including just having the city be really well maintained, really well kept, and really beautiful. All the buildings, the neighborhoods, uh, the parks, uh, even like corporate, <laughs> corporate centers and buildings, everything is just immaculately landscaped, maintained. It is absolutely gorgeous and so well cared for. So anywhere you are in Old Town Scottsdale, everything is gonna be really well landscaped, really beautiful, um, really great design and kind of just look nice no matter where you're at. So that is kind of a, that's definitely a pro of living in Old Town Scottsdale. It's just having your surrounding look great all the time. <laughs> Another pro of Old Town Scottsdale, this is probably one of my personal favorite parts, is that there is always something to do. There is so much going on in Old Town Scottsdale any time of day, any day of the week, which is really fun. You've got so many different activities. You've got the um, Barrett Jackson car show that comes. So if you're like really into um, like old cars or retro cars, I'm not, I've never actually been, I'm not a car person, but I've seen pictures and it looks really cool. Uh, there's also the Waste Management Open, which if you are into golf, that is a huge event. Like people come from all over the country and all over the world just to come to that golfing event, which happens for a week here in Scottsdale. That is one of the main events of the year is that big golfing tournament. So we've got that, but then every other, like just every normal day there are events festivals farmers markets um you know food trucks everywhere you go it is just a lot of fun they have um different walks and activities on the art walk kind of in the art district in old town obviously there is a ton of restaurants bars and all those different activities um, and definitely the best nightlife in all of arizona in my opinion they have the most incredible um, different bars and clubs and stuff that are open way until like two or three in the morning so you can go all night long but definitely the nightlife here in Old Town Scottsdale is the best. That's why it's a huge draw um, for, you know, different uh, singles, young professionals, young family, is there's just, there's so much to do. Honestly, anyone of any age would enjoy Old Town. There's just events all over for every type of uh, different kind of category and uh, lifestyle that you could want. So they've got all of that going on, but then there's also just a lot of outdoor activities. There's hiking, uh, biking, the weather is amazing for most of the year. You're gonna see people walking their dogs and kids and everybody out. There's all these different um, kind of things you can rent, whether it's scooters or 
What are those ones where you're like, you lean, it's got the two wheels and you lean on it. Oh, I can't remember the name. Those things, okay. I just, I'm gonna remember the name as soon as like the video is over. Comment in the section down below. What are those things where like you lean, segways. Never mind. I mean, you can still comment, but I remembered it. So they have segways. So, um, or you can rent those big party bikes. You're literally all sitting on a bike. There's a bar in the middle with a bartender and you guys are just driving around old town, having the time of your life. So there's always things to do. Um, and that's definitely a huge draw for old town. It's just all the activities and you're never going to be bored. Another pro of old town Scottsdale kind of ties in with all the activities, which is really nice, but it is so walkable. And this is really rare for cities around the Phoenix metro area. Most things are super spread out and you are not going to be able to kind of just like walk around and get from one place to another. You're going to need a car. But in Old Town and Scottsdale, it's all pretty close together and you actually can uh, walk around and get to most places anywhere in Old Town, which is really great. So that's really great if you want to go out, just do Sunday fun day brunch, walk from your uh, hotel, your house, your Airbnb, wherever you're staying, you can just walk, go get some brunch, uh, walk along the waterfront, which is this really beautiful area where they're always having fun events uh, and festivals and stuff like that you can go check out some live performers everything like that uh, walk over to lunch and then uh, walk back for an afternoon nap so <laughs> it is really great that you can just kind of get around um, either walking biking or scooters which of course are everywhere in Old Town Scottsdale so that is one of the pros is that it is very walkable another pro is the food scene here in Old Town so Scottsdale in general has some of the best uh, dining and food uh, but I think Old Town definitely takes the cake for Scottsdale. I mean, Scottsdale's got great food, but Old Town especially, all the best restaurants and the fine dining are there in the Old Town Scottsdale area. All those places where it's like kind of that high-end, really fancy dining, there are so many places like that where it is seriously an incredible experience. You have amazing views. Um, like everything that you see on Instagram where it's just like over the top, there's a lot of those places here in Old Town Scottsdale, which is really fun. But they've also got some really cute, fun, laid back, casual style dining. Uh, they've got chains, they've got mom and pop shops, they've got um, almost everyone here has patios. That's a huge thing. If you watch any of our other videos, we are always talking about restaurant patios. We love our patio weather here. Since the weather is so nice for the majority of the year, we are always wanting to eat outside, enjoy that sunshine, and enjoy the weather. So you're gonna see uh, patios absolutely packed for most of the year here in the Old Town Scottsdale area. So another pro that kind of ties into the walkability is that the city is just really convenient. Um, everything is really close together. So yeah, you absolutely can just walk if you want, but if there is anything that you want outside of kind of all the everyday restaurants, dining, coffee, gas stations, and stuff like that, if you want to go to Home Goods or Target, they have those in Old Town. But if you need to go anywhere else, if you want to go over to um, you know Central or North Scottsdale, if you want to go check out Phoenix, head over to Tempe for the day, everything is just a 15 or 20 minute drive at the absolute most. Most places are only 10 minutes away. So you are really close. You're pretty centrally located to where the rest of the city is. So you can get kind of anywhere pretty Pretty quickly so just having that convenience of not being too far from wherever you'd like to go is really nice and the last pro is just the quality of life people really take that seriously in Scottsdale in general but also in Old Town um, quality of life and wellness is just kind of a huge focus um, of the lifestyle in Scottsdale. And so there's gonna be uh, fitness centers and gyms and uh, personal training on every single corner. You are gonna see lots of wellness centers, lots of spas, lots of healthcare facilities, all different kinds um, from things like, you know, IV treatments to wellness, meditation, mindfulness, uh, different like massage techniques and like stuff like that. So all these different kinds of kind of wellness and fitness centers are all over the place as well as world-class healthcare facilities. We have uh, Mayo Clinic, which is uh, just outside of Old Town. It's kind of more in the central Scottsdale area. You also have uh, Ironwood Cancer Center. So there's just a really kind of emphasis on wellness and living well here in the Scottsdale area. You know, taking care of yourself um, and feeling well is a huge, huge part of life here in Old Town Scottsdale. You're gonna see tons of restaurants that are, you know, very healthy and clean eating. There are so many juice bars, which like that, I feel like that didn't used to be a thing, but until recently, but there are like healthy juice bars everywhere. So you can go get those like shots of like the green juice that tastes like grass. It's gross, but you know, I guess it's good for you. So if that's something you're into, there are juice bars all over Old Town. <laughs> All right, now the good stuff, the cons, <laughs> the drawbacks, all the bad sides of it. So the first con is pretty obvious, and that is that it is expensive. Scottsdale in general is just very expensive to live in, and Old Town is no exception. Scottsdale, including Old Town, is actually 18% uh, higher when it comes to cost of living than the national average. So housing, food, entertainment, all of that is going to be more expensive in Scottsdale. It's kind of that luxury high-end living, but when you live in Scottsdale, everything kind of comes with that Scottsdale tag and Scottsdale label, which means the food, the entertainment, something that you could get, you know, maybe in Tempe or, you know, down the road in Phoenix would cost less, but since it's in Scottsdale, it's going to cost more. 
Second con is the weather. We talked about great weather for some of the year in the beginning, but the summer sucks. Like there's no way around it. It is just so incredibly hot. It's miserable. Like you'll walk outside and it feels like you're walking into an oven in the summer. June to September are the really brutal months. It'll be easily 115. That's just like the norm here. People say it's a dry heat and then it's not a big deal. I call BS like 115 degrees is still really hot. Yes, it's not humid, but it's still brutal. Um, you're going to see people joking about cooking an egg on the sidewalk and stuff like that. It's not a joke. I did it as a kid. It's very real. So just be aware that um, the heat is pretty extreme. If you're not used to it, it is gonna be an adjustment. So just be aware, stay hydrated for like June to September. Stay inside. If you do go outside, make sure it's in the early morning hours before 10 a.m. Try to stay in the shade. Um, if you've got a pool, even better. You can just kind of like swim, hide away, like stay away from the sun and stuff like that. Uh, but the heat is seriously no joke here. So that's definitely a drawback. Another con is that it's kind of becoming a tourist hotspot, especially in Old Town. Scottsdale in general gets a lot of tourism, a lot of visitors, um, and what we call snowbirds. It's people who come here for the winter to kind of escape the snow. And then uh, once it starts to get a little warmer, they go back to go back to where they live the rest of the year. So uh, there's going to be a lot of snowbirds, but Old Town specifically is really becoming a hotspot for tourism. So. The pro that we talked about earlier where there's so much to do, it is a lot of fun. It's a hot spot for people to come here on vacation and trips and you know, bachelor and bachelorette parties and all of that. Um, that when you actually live here can kind of be a con because you're gonna be dealing with out of town tourists a lot, especially in the winter months. Like November through April, it is so insanely busy with people from out of town here. And so you're gonna be dealing with people who don't know how the driving works here. There's a lot more car accidents. You're gonna be dealing with just like a lot of tourists all over the place. Everywhere's gonna be busy. It's gonna be hard to get reservations at restaurants. All the stores are gonna be packed. There's gonna be lines for everything. So that is kind of a drawback. Um, and also with like all the, uh, the parties and the nightlife and the bars and stuff like that, if you live kind of right on that main strip where there are all the bars and the nightlife and everything, um, it is loud, <laughs> especially at night. Like it is bumping. It is a fun place to be. But if you're not into like the loud club music, music going on at like 2 a.m., probably don't live over there. But so that is kind of a drawback is um, just all the, uh, the parties, the nightlife, the tourism, like it just really ramps up in the winter. So you're gonna have to deal with a lot of it if you're in the old town. Uh, area. If that doesn't bug you, if you're cool with it, awesome. But if that's something that you kind of are not looking forward to, Old Town might not be the right part of Scottsdale for you. Another drawback about Old Town Scottsdale, we talked about walkability and the pros, which is honestly probably one of the better options for you guys to do because parking is kind of rough. Uh, parking in Old Town Scottsdale is really limited. There's a lot of shopping, a lot of restaurants, a lot to do, a lot of buildings and stuff, but there is not always a ton of parking and they are really strict about parking enforcement. So uh, if you like are thinking of taking a risk and parking somewhere you shouldn't, don't, you will get a ticket. <laughs> like it's not worth it, um, but the parking is kind of limited. And of course there's a lot of different areas that you can't park at certain times of day and certain days of the week and all that stuff. They do have parking garages here and there. They've got side street parking occasionally as well, uh, but parking is just kind of limited in general. A lot of places will do valet services. Sometimes they'll even do complimentary valet because they know parking is challenging. So if you're planning on going to Old Town Scottsdale for the day, if you're coming in from out of town, you're not staying in Old Town Scottsdale and you wanna bring a car, go ahead and just find one of the parking garages. Just leave your car there for the day, walk around. Uh, and if you are staying or living in Old Town Scottsdale, try to walk as much as possible. It'll save you all those uh, parking tickets. And last but not least is just the extreme growth that has been going on in Old Town Scottsdale. Like I said, the past 10, 20 years, it's really become a hot spot, um, not only for tourists, but just for people wanting to live there in general. It is a huge draw for young families, young professionals, young singles. Um, there's just so much going on. It is so fun and there is so much happening, but it's kind of limited. They have built out for the most part as much as they can. Um, occasionally you'll see buildings knocked down and they'll build new ones or they're coming in and kind of revamping and uh, renovating some of the older buildings, older townhomes, older single family homes and stuff like that. But there is a limited amount of housing uh, that there is in Old Town Scottsdale. And since so many people are still wanting to move there and live there, it really is kind of limited and it's driving up the prices. So affordability when it comes to housing in Scottsdale is really kind of starting to go away little by little as it continues to become more popular and more people want to live here. So if you are thinking of moving to Old Town Scottsdale, just kind of be aware that it is still a very competitive market. If you are wanting to uh, purchase a home here or even sell a home here, make sure that you're finding a, an agent who knows the area, 
uh, a team who's really going to ask all the right questions, support you, knows the market, and knows how to actually win uh, when it comes to putting in offers here in Old Town Scottsdale. So I hope this video was helpful. Hope all the pros and cons uh, made sense. I'd love to know if there's anything else I didn't cover, any questions that you guys have. If you have been to Old Town Scottsdale or if you live in Old Town Scottsdale and you have your own pros and cons, let me know all of that in the comments below. would love to hear from you guys. Like I said, we are always here and happy to help. Uh, whether you're moving in nine days or nine months, just reach out. Uh, even if you're just trying to figure out where the right fit for you, maybe Scottsdale or Old Town is just not the right fit, but you're trying to find what is going to be the right fit, let us know or watch some of our other videos. We cover all different cities and areas all around the Phoenix metro area. So like I said, reach out, call, text, email. We are here and happy to help. And until next time, we'll see you soon.